Rich. Tony Will Rich. Tony Will Rich. And, and you know, that's he, like, that the young man they say OG Percy sleeping with? Well, OG uh-huh. Percy took a picture with him. Yeah, uh-huh. I never yeah, heard yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, he took a picture with him. I don't know if he's sleeping with him. Yeah, I, ain't I heard never that. heard that. You heard that? Oh, I'm gonna say this. I didn't know who the dude was until somebody was like, "Hey, Sco, did you hear about this young dude that OG Percy sleeping with? He openly gay Fort Worth crib." And I, I had never knew the dude. I was who like, well, that's said what, that, so that's man. how the, you, you know me. When you go look at my inbox, oh, I got the world in that bitch dropping shit in there. I mean, they put Damn. it. So I'm like, what? Well, who is this dude? When- Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. That Latham guy, what's his name? Uh, Van Latham, Latham yeah, from TMZ, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, white, white 100 been yeah, we, pulling we, up lately. We just had Crip Mac over there. Crip Mac was over there. Five, 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 Yeah, we just five, 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 Crip over there, man. I was I knew this, I knew, you know, I, I talked to the nigga when he was locked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't really talked to Five, Five, Crip since he been home. Yeah. But I, I rock with the fact of he was helping the homeless and all that. Yeah. How is this nigga doing now? Versus when he left, is his buzz still there, or is it then disseminated, or how is it? How was it when you when you pulled him up? Did a whole bunch of people yeah, pop up? Yeah, yeah, the nigga, the nigga, when he came home, I, I got him early when he first you know, he okay. came home, so I knew niggas kind of buzzing and shit like that. But I mean, you can't look away from a car accident. You know what I mean? That nigga's a car wreck. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> his, his lingo and shit. Yeah, and, but he a cool dude. Though. I'm gonna say this behind the scene. Talking to him before the show, nah, he was a cool dude, bro. That's he was real, yeah, he was a cool dude. Nigga had, I'm not gonna lie to you, he had an old English we early course, in the morning, nigga. Course. Early in, it was like nigga, eleven o'clock in the morning, nigga was sitting there with an old English, really. And when you see a nigga sitting there with an old English at that early in the morning, you know a nigga stressed the fuck out. Yeah, you know yeah. a nigga mind. He's trying bad. to get it popping. He's trying yeah. to get everything. Your going. mind is bad if you sitting there with an old English at four o'clock, at, at okay, eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay, for people like me, what is an old English? That's one of them old gold cans. Yeah, it's one of them gold and red cans. Uh, one of them, you know, what I mean some gold and red cans of. Beer, beer, beer. Oh, but it's malt liquor. Yeah, it's when, when you can't afford the slit malt liquor. Yeah. Boy, back in the day, you get that one. Yeah, niggas used to drink that Saint Eyes. Remember Got different kinds of yeah, the Saint old Eyes. English, like yeah, really a, a West Coast beer. Everybody drink it everywhere, but you see them West Coast niggas with that old Got English it. most of the time. But uh. Dallas niggas drink that Bud Ice and them two eleven still reserved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dallas nigga wake up early in the morning with a two eleven. But uh, nah, I mean yeah, Crip Mac was cool, bro. Wack one hundred was Wack one hundred was cool. He was making diss me the next day on Clubhouse. What? But look, let me tell you something. Wack 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 a real nigga though because Wack one hundred told me that he was gonna go back and diss me. Wack one hundred told me to go at him during the show. He's texting my phone while we on the show saying, "Nigga, go harder." Like you fire me up. <laughs> Man, you nigga turn this bitch up. You yeah. got to turn this all up. I'm Man, not wasting Wack, my time. Wack want to argue. He want to fight. And mainly he want to debate. Wack want to debate. So we started talking about that OG Bobby Billions and Mo3 shit and Trap Boy shit. How was that? You know what I mean? Oh, you know him. He stood up for OG Bobby. Oh, anything I say, he going with the opposite. And I was like, nah, I don't think OG Bobby Billions should have you know, you know, worked with the mother niggas. You know what I mean? Uh, after the outside record. He, oh, fuck that. I got a check for Bobby Billions. Nigga, this, 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 this. Nah, nigga, he lied. He said he said cut Bobby Billions that goddamn check. You owe Bobby Billions some money, Wack. <laughs> so I mean, you know, with that California culture, mm-hmm. is it is that California culture as you look at it from this perspective? You know, there's a guy that came on my show that's the first openly gay crip, like, and and you seen that? I and seen he been it. he been going around. I Vlad seen it. them posted him. Everybody posted. Will, what's his name? Tony Will Rich. Tony Will Rich. Tony Will Rich. And, and you know, that's he, like, that the young man they say OG Percy sleeping with? Well, OG uh-huh. Percy took a picture with him. Yeah, uh-huh. I never yeah, heard yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, he took a picture with him. I don't know if he's sleeping with him. Yeah, I, I heard never that. heard that you one. Heard that? Oh, I'm gonna say this. I didn't know who the dude was until somebody was like, "Hey, Sco, did you hear about this young dude that OG Percy sleeping with? He openly gay Fort Worth crib." But I, I had never knew the dude. I was who like, well, that's said what, that, so that's man. how the, you, you know me. When you go look at my inbox, oh, I got the world in that bitch dropping shit in there. I mean, they put Damn. it. Oh, so I'm like, what? Well, who when is people this dude? when people telling you all that stuff, because like for me personally, I'm like, okay, where's the proof? Show me the picture. Yeah, see, that's what something I thought. like that. I'm thinking, well, maybe it's something else they know. I don't. I have. No, he just took a picture with him. Yeah, he just took a picture with him. So they're not sleeping together. No, they're not, not hitting them Matter of fact, if I remember correctly, he say uh, he say Bob Bob report tricked him into taking that picture with him. Oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. Who said that? Percy said. Percy that? said. See now, I don't like that kind of shit. See that that made me think they fucking. See, <laughs> the, 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 the right. I don't like that. Don't, don't come out and say, oh, somebody made me do it. Nah, nigga, this ain't made a cool dude, bro. Right here, but he a black dude. He doing his thing. But even, yeah. but even before that picture, because he came on this show before yeah. that picture, and he said that. Um, he had said in an interview that it was okay for him to be a crip. Who said that? OG Percy? OG, OG Percy, Percy yeah. said it was okay for um, Tony Will Rich, who is an openly gay rapper, to be a crip. That's what Tony Will Rich said. That's yeah, what Tony Rich That was yeah. his really one of his, one of his certifications. They fucking. 
Huh? They fucking. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Look, I want to say if they was in, in the pen, we, we, how would they work in jail? In the, in the pen, it wouldn't work like that, would it? In the pen, you went yeah. to an like openly gay nigga. Yeah, you could be a crip. Be with us. Of course not. You start fucking on that nigga behind closed doors, probably. You know what I mean? So that's what I thought, man, bro. They. Come on, dog. Stop it, fam. I don't want nothing else about this shit. It's disgusting, bro. He got songs and stuff. It, 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 it I haven't heard like of he, them yet. Seems like he's growing. Okay. And, and, look, and, and what I'm going to say, salute to him, fam. I mean, I might, I might throw him on uh, on one of my female shows one I'm, day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, I, I I don't have his number. I can get you in touch with Bob Supreme. Mm -hmm. Bob got his number. Bob is his manager. Mm. Bob Report. That's a damn shame, man. That's a goddamn shame. This game, this industry is disgusting, bro. And the reason I'm saying that is, bro, because I open, I mean, this is what I'm saying, bro. It ain't about no music and that no more, bro. It's about a fucking circus. Uh, you know what I mean? And, uh, ain't uh, not about talent. It ain't about it's... talent no more, man. It's about people will manage anything. Y'all see the two island boys, the two little. I ain't kids kid, the, man. The, I got the, mad as hell, the, bro. They, they do only fans. Every, every time I turn, every time I see it, I just take it off. And that's that right there. Show hey, bro, you, you know man. how you say it, burn nigga, burn you up when you yeah, see something. Burn you up. Yo. Burnt you up, man. Burnt you up, my nigga. What the hell just happened? Yeah. I it's like back. everybody's trying to upstage the next person. Yep. Like, what else can go what wrong? What a nigga will do for clout? That nigga, they know they were losing their buzz yep. and they did that ignorant stuff. Violate. That tell you where they'll go. They'll take it anywhere. anywhere there is bro. no code to what no these code. people are doing, bro. But I, you know, I think that's for the whole gang. I think everybody's going in that direction. If you notice, when I see niggas do interviews now, niggas don't be they self no more, bro. Not niggas be on there just doing the wild. Especially them niggas say cheese niggas over there. Ooh. That, 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 that J-Main nigga yeah. over there. That nigga over there just putting on a show every day just saying the weirdest shit, you know what I mean? Just I, I'm like, bro, this is this the new trend. Do an interview and just say the wildest, dumbest shit you can say and hope people ask you to do more interviews. That's the hustle. Is it everybody or is it just the young people? Uh, nah, you, you, that's the fucked up. It's a lot of old niggas that's involved. A lot of, hey, hey look online. It's a lot of old bitches right now butt naked online. Have y'all noticed this? A lot. It's a lot of older women that don't give a damn no more. Only fans, I mean women 50, 60 years old. Oh, they don't man, give a shit no more. On, no, bro, the internet is taking I over. I ain't on there like but that. I'm going to say this though. This is one thing I will say. Be who you want to be. It don't matter how old you are, no matter what you got going on, be who you want to be. But that internet, bro, everybody wants some of it. Everybody wants the fame and the clout. It don't matter how old you are no more, man. Nobody cares, man. Look at Charleston White now. You could say he one of the most watched niggas in the DFW, right? He get more love than these rap niggas. Or more, more attention. Come on, fam. You know what I mean? So it ain't about age or none of that shit no more. It's about clout, attention, fame, views. And like I said, it's women out here, man, in their 50s and 60s. Busting so, the But hold on, but with all this clout mm -hmm. and Damn. fame and attention, does all of this that you see mm -hmm. happening, does any of this equate to money for some of these people? Probably so. Probably not the kind of money that um, a younger, you know I mean, female would probably get, but it's attention, it's money. Remember this, Miss Jamaica, it ain't about money no more. It's about attention and clout and fame. This niggas out here broke right now, but they known online. People are recognizing their face. can't pay your bills. Can't pay your bills. Niggas see your face, know who you are, but you ain't got a dime to your name. And, and people are cool with that. Niggas are cool with But you may tell you something, because that's what life is about. You know, people want money. Why? So you can look a certain way and feel a certain way and people know you and like you, right? Niggas skipping over that. Fuck the money. Let's go straight to the uh, knowing you. That's all they want. Just know me. When you see me, I mean, I don't, I, I'm going to tell you this. I don't even really want to be known like that outside this goddamn internet shit. I like, I like on that. I do my shit a live stream. I stay in the crib with mine. I don't even want to talk to niggas in person that much. I don't even want to be around people that much, bro. So many motherfuckers fake, bro. So much shit out here is, you know what I mean? It's twisted and it's business. People say, man, why don't you do a spot and start interviewing people in person? Nigga, fuck that. That's you know what, that's, you, you saying the same thing that Vlad does. Mm -hmm. He never in the room. Yeah, he never in the room. But me, you me tell you something about me. I smoke too much gas, bro. I smoke too much weed. You feel me? I'm, I'm one of the biggest smokers on YouTube. So wherever you put me at, I gotta be. I gotta be able to smoke my weed wherever I'm doing my interviews. If I can't smoke my weed, the show is over. Buy, your own, the buy your own building. You gotta be right. I gotta buy my own building. Yeah, but you can't. I've been kicked out of buildings before. I've been kicked out of buildings before. Don't get it fucked up. You know what I yeah. mean? I've been kicked out <laughs> because of, of how much you smoke. Yeah, because of big weed smoke. Me and some of my partners had a little building back in the day. Uh, one of my partners was on MTV too. He was on the Rob and Big show. Yeah. The big black dude, yeah, the white yeah, with the yeah, skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And uh, we. We had, we had a studio, man, but uh, yeah, the laws and them kicking it in and shit like that, taking everybody to jail and shit. We in that bitch, big blowing, big smoking, Everything. drinking that bitch, sir. But yeah, niggas running in out that motherfucker all night. So anywhere I go, it starts to look like that. I don't know why, fam. Anywhere but, I go, it turns to trouble and shit like that. It starts to look like that. Yeah. I, you know what I, mean? I just want to be yeah, alone. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.